Transformers Prime 10th Anniversary Hades Megatron is here folks and wow does this ever take me back to last year when we got all that sweet Transformers animated 10th Anniversary stuff. In fact let's have a quick look at it now. Oh. Looks like we were the only ones that gave a shit. Oh well, uh, my knowledge of Transformers Prime isn't great. I wasn't sure really why he was even called Hades Megatron. Perhaps it's like the video game Hades because everyone's super thirsty for him. Uh, they should be, I mean, look at him. I do love that design, he looks proper vicious, you know. All spikes and claws and teeth. And that chrome finish makes you sit up and realise you're dealing with something special here. First things first though, look at all the stuff you get. Three instruction booklets, one for Megatron and two for his wee pals that you have to build. Now if you're put off by that, don't worry, I've built a few Gundam kits in my time. So I picked up this little kit from Amazon, it's got everything you need. It's super cheap, some clippers, pencils, etc. You just follow the instructions, clipping off the bits you need, sanding them down if needs be, and assembling them. It's like slightly more complex Lego. I found building kits this way to be a little intimidating at first, but if I can do it, you can definitely do it. Soon you'll have big Gundam model kits under your belt and you'll be laughing. Well not actually laughing, as all Gundam collectors are miserable bastards. But first up in the kit is Gora 2 which is Megatron's fusion cannon that turns into a gorilla that basically has animated Lugnut's face on it. I mean, it's like they made this specifically for me. It's delightful, going right on the monkey shelf. Next up is Hades. I heard that the Japanese pronunciation is Hades, but let's not pretend accuracy is something we go for on this channel. He's a weird purple bat uh, that turns into a scythe and then into a backpack and wings for Megatron. Again, I think they might have just made this for me, but thank you anyway for doing that, it's lovely. Uh, there's a ton of stickers to apply to, which is quite fiddly, so I'd suggest getting some tweezers on the go. Again, from the model building kit, doing it with these ungainly pork sausages I call fingers is nigh on impossible. But now they're built, let's have a look at Megatron, and yep, he looks good. The toy itself is fairly poseable. It does suffer from quite loose hips, as we all know those sink ships, so watch out. Uh, those little accents of purple pick out the details really nicely too, and it added on all the other stickers really badly. He transforms into shit all, but that's, you know, a Cybertronian mode for you. I kind of like the notion, though, that Megatron refuses to take on an Earth mode. Uh, it's not exactly winning any beauty contests, but then again, neither am I, so who's got the right to complain here, really? Overall, it's a pretty good set. I don't think you should let the model kit building parts put you off. It's quite relaxing and rewarding just to put something together yourself like this. Uh, I just wish we could see more of it, to be honest. And it made me want to get the other Breakdown and Viacon 2-pack 10th anniversary set, but of course I didn't buy it the second it came online, so fuck me I suppose. So I would say get this guy, if you can. Or don't, you know, I'm not your dad. Not yet.